Hi, I do thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2. And our next extraordinary African American is Marion Wright Edelman. Now, she's a children's advocate during the time period of 1939. And the information I have on Ms. Edelman is $1 up front saves many dollars down the road. Slogan of the Children's Defense Fund. Now, African-American children were not allowed to play in the city parks in Bentonsville, South Carolina. So Marion Wright Edelman's father created a playground for them behind the church where he was a minister. His daughter learned from his example. When she grew up, she established an organization that helped children all over the United States. Now, after graduating from high school, Edelman entered Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. During her junior year, she traveled to France and Switzerland. When she returned to the United States, she joined the fight to end segregation. She began by participating in sit-ins and was arrested. In 1963, Edelman went to Mississippi to help with the voter registration campaign. After graduating from Yale Law School, she became the first African-American woman to practice law in Mississippi. She began working for the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund in Mississippi, representing civil rights demonstrators and working on school desegregation lawsuits. She also became involved with Mississippi's Head Start program, which aimed to provide better education for young children. During this time, she met her future husband, Peter Edelman, who was a member of the Senator Robert Kennedy's staff. In 1968, Marion Edelman moved to Washington, D.C. to provide legal assistance to the Poor People's Campaign, an effort by the civil rights leadership to highlight the problems of the poor. She also began the Washington Research Project to identify how well laws aimed at helping poor people really worked. The project soon became the Children's Defense Fund, the CDF, an organization dedicated to helping and protecting children across the country. Now, during this time, Edelman became the first African-American woman to serve on the board of directors of Yale University. Not to be outdone, Yale's rival, Harvard University, hired Edelman to direct its Center for Law and Education. But Edelman's first concern was the Children's Defense Fund. Now, in 1973, she became its president, and in 1979, she returned to Washington to work for it full-time. Now, the Children's Defense Fund aims to guarantee every child a healthy start, a head start, a fair start, a safe start, and a moral start. It encourages the passage of laws that will provide children with health, care, education, economic security, and protection from abuse 
and neglect. Edelman's work with CDF earned her a Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2000. Now, Edelman has written several books, including one for young people called Stand for Children. This title represents the philosophy of a woman who has been standing up for children all her life. All right, I do. Thank you. That does complete the information I have on Miss Edelman uh, regarding uh, being the children's advocate that started back in 1939 and beyond. Now, our next extraordinary African American that I have for you, if you stay tuned, is going to be Maya Angelou. Now, she's a poet, and you know I know it. No, anyway, she's a poet and a writer. Uh, I have the time period being 1928 and uh, beyond going to the future. So stay tuned and I'll have some more for you um, here on Poem Praise 2. And while we're away, continue to be blessed and I'll holla at you later. Okay? All right, y'all. Holla at you later. Later, y'all.